Hey everyone, Mtash here, and today I want to talk about defense. In many games like Path of Exile, you actually need a lot of defenses to survive. Enemies will one-bang you in many of the endgame activities of Path of Exile, and if you don't build resistances and defense, well, you're just gonna get stomped. It doesn't matter how much damage you do, any time you get hit, you're gonna pretty much die. But what about Genshin Impact? If you have no defenses, can you tank most of the attacks in game? If you do have defenses, is it going to make things better for you and you're going to be able to survive and beat harder content? Let's figure out what defense does and let's figure out if it's actually that valuable. Or should you just stack attack and kill everything in two milliseconds? I'm testing it. Alright, so we're going to start with Razor. He has a base defense of 443. Now we're going to go take a hit in the Spiral Abyss and we're going to see how much damage it does. And then we're going to start stacking some defense and see what happens. Alright, here we go. So that dropped our HP to 5,857. So let's do the math on that. About 1,200 damage. Almost exactly 1,200 damage. Alright, so now with our artifacts we've jumped up to 641. Now, we could invest more into this, but I don't want to blow all my resources on the defense stats because, uh, I mean, come on, it's defense. Who wants defense? Well, maybe we do. Let's see what this does to our damage reduction. We're gonna run in. We're gonna walk by this gamer and see if he attacks us. Pop. Okay. So that was about, uh, 10,050 damage. About, about 10,050, so we, we saved about 150 HP, I'm gonna do my math and make sure. But we definitely are a little bit tankier. Do we care? I'm not sure about that. Now if you watch my videos on doing more damage, I discuss the attack stat and how everything is based on attack. Your spell damage is based on attack, your basic attacks are based on attack. If you're gonna crit, it's based on the base value of attack. And the same thing goes with defense. If you get more defense, you're tankier against everything. A hilly churl hits you in the head with your club, or his club, uh, boom. There's more defense, you're gonna take less damage. And if you are taking elemental damage, it's also gonna reduce the incoming damage. But to invest in this stat, I'm not sure how wise that is. Because, yes, you can invest in getting these stats up, and I, you know, didn't invest and in, 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 in upgrade artifacts and get this to like eight or 900 where you're going to really start to see some more benefit. But even if you are investing in defense, getting a hit is a problem. Because getting a hit stuns you, can knock you out of spells, can knock you in the air, and that means that your damage is going to go down a whole bunch. And so, more often than not, you don't want to tank a hit you want to dodge it completely, because if you're getting hit, it's reducing your damage output. And, you know, being able to have high defenses is cool and all, and there's some characters that scale off of it, don't get me wrong. If you want to play Noel, you're going to get some defense, right? But for the average character, you just want to avoid all the damage completely. Now, with elemental resistances, you can get elemental resistances actually pretty decently. And if you're fighting a particular enemy, I would say that getting these resistances is great. If you have a, a piece of gear that's reducing, let's say, uh, electro uh, damage, like if you have electro resistance, then if you know you're fighting an electric enemy, you can be guaranteed like, yep, I'm taking a lot less damage. So if you're fighting an enemy that's electro, and you know that it's electro, Something like this is going to be much more valuable, because this gives you a 40% increase to your electro resistance. So essentially, you're going to take 40% less damage from those enemies' electric attacks, right? And I mean, if you want to go with the full shebang, you can get bonus damage against them. But defense is going to reduce everything, but this is a huge flat chunk that you can get, right? And you can also build attack on these artifacts, but this defensive stat here is far more valuable than the little pieces of defense and the little percentages of defense that you can find on the artifact. This set piece is going to make you so much more tanky against something that's Electro than pretty much any other stat in the game. And there's actually an easy way to get 15% to all elements, and that's going to be great. So if you look at your elemental resonance, you can get 15% resistance just by having one 
uh, of all different elements in your party. Doesn't matter the combination, you could be one of each, you're good to go. And this 15% is a nice chunk of resistance. But again, you don't want to get hit, period, because it, it really slows down your damage. It really slows down your ability to um, beat content, because if everyone is weak, uh, you, you know, you have the risk of dying, you have the risk of losing that DPS, you've got to spend time healing. And so, here's my recommendation. If you don't want to get one hit, I would say that your flower is your best bet. Because the flowers in the game, it doesn't matter which one you pick, pop, 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 there's hundreds of them. They always have HP as this stat. So if you're looking to not get one hit, upgrading your flower is, is probably the most direct route to being tankier. You'll get defense through all sorts of other stats, right? I've got some percentage there. Optimally, I wouldn't want that percentage because I'd rather build some damage. But if you're going to get any sort of defense, it would be HP. I think that that is going to be uh, the key. And because you get such a big uh, percentage there, and because you get so much HP from leveling up and ascending, if you end up getting, like, percentage health uh, on something, then you're just going to have that much more value. And I would rather see percentage HP than defense. I would rather see percentage HP than a little hit of HP here. Because between those two, as I said, the flower and your ascendancy, you're going to have, like, 10, 15,000, 20,000 HP. And... You know, with the little defenses that you do have and the base defenses that you do have, most things, almost nothing, is going to one-hit you. Um, you know, I've taken the biggest hits in the game from a ruin, a rune sentinel, and it just it doesn't it doesn't kill me in one hit, even though I don't have any defense. And so, my other recommendation is stack damage because offense is defense. If you can kill stuff before they can damage you, that's good, right? Uh, a Rune Sentinel. You can shoot them in the eye, and then you can shoot them again, and it will stun them. Or the Rune Hunter. You can shoot them in the eye, and it will actually stun them. And if you can kill that enemy before it even gets up, then you don't need defense. If you can lock enemies up in CC, like Venti, and kill them before they hit the ground, you don't need defense. So, this little bit of defense, I think, is enough. This bit of health, you know, that will keep you alive. But if you are trucking these enemies and doing 115,000 damage in one hit and one banging them, well, then you don't need defense. There's nothing in the game right now other than maybe some of the enemies in the Spiral Abyss that can really be that lethal. And so, um, you know, if you do get tagged, that's great. But in my opinion, you go for the damage and then you use immunity frames, which I'm going to talk about in a second, to dodge the rest of it. You shouldn't be getting hit, period. Getting hit causes a lot of problems. You get debuffs, right? You get debuffs, you get knocked in the air, uh, it cancels some of your abilities, right? You might be charging up with Lisa and then you get hit, boom, ability canceled. And that's trash. So we need to avoid all the damage altogether. Characters get invincibility frames and dodging. You can send the biggest, most powerful attack, and if I go, ha, I dodge it. I can dodge right through it. It doesn't matter if it's a boss. It doesn't matter if it's a rune guard. It doesn't matter if it's a hillichurl club. Even if D. Luke is swinging his big sword and accidentally tags me, you could dodge through it. And so between this little dodge, this is all the defense you need. Mastering the dodge timer, getting the immunity frames. But also, the other big one is during animations for some of the five-star characters, you also get immunity frames. And so if you're playing this game, you've spent some time, you've got lucky with one of the five-star characters, these Q abilities all have a special animation, right? And during this animation, you're essentially immune. It's only a second here or there, but if you see a boss winding up about to slam, you can either dodge out of the way, or you can pop one of those abilities and completely tank it. And so for that reason, Yes, defense will make it so that they hit a little bit less. But I think it is much more prudent, it is much more optimal, just to avoid it altogether and smash them as fast as you possibly can. Okay? That's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.